That's why I work so hard on gut stabilization. I mean, that's one of the pillars in my practice. And another thing that we're finding, and this is research that's been published, a lot of people are looking at bifidobacterium. That's just one subspecies of good bacteria in the gut that they're finding is helpful in autism, but more importantly, helpful in optimizing as it relates to immune system, you know? So I look for that as well, look for those imbalances. Gut tests also tell me how inflamed a person is. Is, they'll come to me and say, well, I don't have celiac, so I don't need to remove gluten. But then I'm like, look, some the gluten, some of the gluten we have in our society right now is pretty toxic and it may make this leaky gut worse and it may make this inflammation worse. But that is the key because we know the gut and the brain are connected by the longest nerve in your body. So if you're having brain issues, if you're having fog or fatigue and we haven't addressed your gut, they were doing you a disservice, just like with your immune system. A lot of your immune cells are stemmed from your gut. So if you're not treating leaky gut, if you're not loving your brain by loving the foods that you eat and your body, then we're going to have a hard time recovering 